Okay, my dear YouTube viewers, this video we're going to do an unboxing and the installation process for the Crossfire Tire Pressure Equalization System. So this is for one set of tires, basically you need one for every two tires. Um, I have two of these, but I'm just going to show you one. So right here are the specs, basically you have the tire pressure, I have the 110 PSI tire pressure um, the brackets and all this stuff I didn't really have an option when I was buying this for the PSI you do have an option which PSI you wanted at but for the rest of this I didn't actually select any of that so without further ado let's open it up and see what we got inside right here we have the installation requirements or instructions how does that's got kind of a lot of reading I don't know well maybe I don't know eight, seven, I don't know. There's some reading involved. And here's the actual system. So basically, um, this gauge here, um, it acts as a, uh, it acts as a um, tire pressure gauge. If you look right here in the attached sticker, they actually show you um, normal pressure level 10 pounds over or 10 pounds under. If you look at my thing, don't know if you can see it but right now it's black so we are under 110 psi and that kind of makes sense because we are disconnected um, right here is where you put in the air and these two ends attach to your tires to your valve stems on the wheels uh, there's a bolt right here that's used to attach it to the bracket and the brackets are simmering here I actually did not to take the brackets out so I don't actually don't even know okay okay almost there give me a sec yeah. and pretty much here are the brackets nothing too fancy basically um, basically what you do is just slide this over your stud put in your on, on your bolt and then the unit right here just very simply, I don't know, somehow attaches, I guess, something like that. Uh, probably doesn't go on like that because there's no way it's going to fit. But basically attaches like that. And I think it's... This bracket, the T bracket, is probably the one I'm going to be using. I have no idea. Like, I can't logically even tell you how. I mean, I don't, I'm not sure how this one goes on. Read the instructions, probably. They'll probably tell you how to install this thing but it's kind of funky looking. So yeah, I'm probably gonna be using the T-bracket and we're gonna be installing this on my Ford. So why do you want one of these? Based on all my research, these things come in very handy when equalizing tire pressure, hence the name tire pressure equalization system. The reason why you'd want something like this installed is for if you have uneven tire wear on your dual um, on your dual on your duels um, if you have uneven tire wear this actually also simplifies the whole process of checking tire pressure why because before this you would have to check um, two tires check the pressure for two tires here now you only check tire pressure you have only one valve to put tire pressure in and it, it distributes the pressure to both tires you don't really need a gauge anymore you just quickly walk by look at this gauge right here it's, if it says it's good, it's good. If it says it's under, you just fill it up and you're good there. So pretty much not only does it simplify the whole maintenance process, but it also extends tire life. Um, they claim that it extends, improves efficiency because um, the pressure is always equalized between the two tires. So one tire is not always getting the load. And as long as you keep it at 110 PSI, you're going to be at optimal in my case 110 psi that's the optimal rating for my tires so that's optimal fuel efficiency right there but other than that i guess i'll see you at the at my ford when we're going to be going to install this thing okay guys so here we are at the ford um basically one thing i'm going to tell you right now i have the bus off the ground based on the instructions that I read on how to install it. It doesn't say that you need to rotate the tires. 
or turn them. The reason why I'm turning them is because this is the stem for my back wheel and right behind it I have the stem for the outer wheel. So outer wheel stem is right here, inner wheel stem is right here. I'm not a big fan of that. I'd rather have it um, be 180 degrees from each other. So I'd rather have it look something like, you know, something like this instead of both of them being like this. It might not really matter, but I like symmetry and I'm gonna be rotating my tires. So that's why I got the bus off the ground. If you just wanna rotate a buck 80, um, you can just put in a drive onto a two by four or like a four by four or something like that, just to get one side off and then you can rotate the outer wheel. I got both of the wheels off the ground because like I said, I'm rotating all my tires. So without further ado, we got my 21 mil impact. And here we go. Okay, you know what? On a second thought, we're not gonna rotate the tire. This wheel is stuck on here. It doesn't wanna come off. So we're gonna leave it. I'm gonna just rotate the outer wheels and call it good. Okay guys, so let me give you a quick update. This whole thing is probably not made to work with a 19 and a half inch trim. If you have a 22 and a half inch trim, this will probably be super easy. 19 and a half, not so much. I had to modify the, um, the outer wheel loop thing, how to straighten it out a little bit. This used to be 90 degree angle, how to bend it in. So at this point I can fairly confidently say this whole thing the tire pressure equalizer system it's not made for 19 and a half inch rims because there's just way too much stuff that doesn't fit right but I already started so I'm, I'm gonna finish And there you go. It is now installed. I need to add tire. I need to add some air pressure to that, some air to the tires. But pretty much installation is now done. I'll see you back inside and I'll give you the final rundown. Okay, so we are back inside. The Crossfire tire pressure equalization system. Not made for 19 and a half inch rims. At the time I bought these, it didn't specify that these were made for bigger size rims. Maybe it is made for 19 and a half, but I couldn't figure out how to get it on there without modifying the hardware that came with it. So if you have 22 and a half inch rims, installation should be pretty easy. If you have 19 and a half inch rims, if you buy the system, you will need to do a little bit of modification in order for them to fit. If I didn't have to modify anything, installation would have been a breeze. Um, the only thing is I now I gotta do is just actually test it to make sure it actually works out for me. But this is the system. The reason why I bought it is because two of these cost less than one new tire for my Ford so you know equalizing it out or you know weighing the cost it, it's worth it if it works I hope this helps somebody out 